Space is big, really big. Consider first the moon. It's 384,000 kilometers away, and yet we still see it clearly in the night sky. You can fit 30 Earths in that space. Let that sink in for a minute. 30 Earths can fit between us and the moon. Now let's assume you're about average height. If the Earth and Moon were scaled down to your height, such that you're the same size as the Earth, the Moon would now be about half a meter tall, and it would be 52 meters away from you. This isn't quite so mind-boggling yet. You can envision in your head how this would look. But now consider the Earth and the Sun. Now things get a little bit more interesting. Again, scale down so that the Earth is about 5 foot 9. The Sun would now almost be 200 meters tall. A literal giant compared to us. Then the distance between us and the sun, known as one astronomical unit, is now 20 kilometers. Now that's not so easy to visualize, and this my friends is just the tip of the iceberg. Now imagine this, you're 100 light years away from the center of the Milky Way. The Milky Way would take up your entire field of view, left to right, a full 180 degrees. Assuming there are no other bodies present, it would take 1600 years to collide with the Milky Way. Also, imagine you begin your life 100 light years away from the center of the Milky Way. Assuming you live to about 75, the galaxy would basically look no different at the end of your life. You will have traveled such a minimal distance in that time, it would basically look no different. And if that's not fascinating, I don't know what is. You look at the same thing your entire life, and you travel very, very fast towards it. And yet it looks no different, because it's so, so massive, and so far away. 100 light years in the cosmic scale is still pretty much nothing. I mean, after this point, there's literally no point trying to relate the size of these cosmic bodies to something to our level. The main thing I really want you to take away is just the sheer size of the universe. Don't worry, I won't go into any sort of philosophical, oh my god, we're nothing in comparison, we're tiny, blah blah blah. But there really is no way to wrap your head around the sheer scale of everything. The next step up is the local group, consisting of our galaxy and about 30 others. This has a diameter of about 10 million light years, so about 100 Milky Ways. The size of the largest known galaxy, Alconus, if that's how you pronounce it, is, get this, 16.3 million light years long, dwarfing our galaxy, which is 100,000 light years across. I'll do the maths for you. That's 163 times bigger than our galaxy. It's literally sci-fi level stuff. Take a look at this image. This is known as the Hubble Deep Field. It shows around 10,000 galaxies. And it's just astonishing to look at. Galaxies, which are such huge structures, are mere dots, pixels, microscopic on some of these larger scales. Now you have the superclusters, which are basically clusters of clusters of galaxies, if that makes sense. The one we are in is called the Lanakia supercluster, which is 500 million light years in diameter. These are some of the biggest objects in the observable universe. 500 million light years still isn't the biggest. While I am skipping a lot of the large structures, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to read in some more detail. Now the largest ever structure discovered in the observable universe is known as the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, or HCB for short. There are a lot of these wall structures in the universe, and they're basically a bunch of superclusters which form a wall-like structure. If you want to sound a bit more fancy, they're also known as galaxy filaments. The HCB is about 10 billion light years in length. And bear in mind the diameter of the observable universe is 93 billion light years. I mean, what can I even say at this point? It's just so damn big. But, and this is a big but, this is only the universe we can see. The unobservable universe could be infinite or finite, but significantly larger. The thing is, we can't get any information from the unobservable universe. It's invisible to us. The light from those distant galaxies and stars hasn't had enough time to reach us. We will never know the true scale of the universe. But suffice it to say, space is big. Really, really big.